Okay. Take two, guys. I hope this helps. Oh, my gosh. All right. Um, I think we're good. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm in Wisconsin with the family, and we uh, just did, like, a mini getaway. And so um, I'm going to give it a minute because my – I don't know if this is working, but we'll see. Anyways, um, okay. Hopefully this works. You guys, sorry. Take two. Take two. And I'm trying to get you guys propped up. Anyways, here, I'll show you my view. Why we're, people are popping in. We're going to talk content batching, but I'm going to show you. There's our view. Isn't that pretty? It's cold, but this is the view from our room. Really pretty, right? Yep. So as you guys are tuning in, say hello. Let me rotate this. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right, so today, let me just get to it because I have to get to the pool. My kids are down at the pool. I'm just going to hold the phone and hopefully my arm doesn't fall off. Um, wait, you guys, seriously, this is why we need to travel with tripods if we're going to do, I didn't know I was going to do a Facebook Live. All right, so um, don't mind our messy room. Yes, this is this is our room. Yes, very nice. Right, Alan? That's a very pretty view. Hold on, I'm going to, using two hands here and I'm steady. Okay. Hey, Susan, how are you? So as you're tuning in, just say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Happy Saturday afternoon. Sorry for all the discombobulation here. Um, we did a mini getaway in Wisconsin, Lake Geneva, one of my favorite places. And so I don't have a tripod. I don't have anything with me. And I know earlier this week I talked about uh, doing content batching. And I want to talk to you guys about it because I know that people have issues when it comes to... Um, creating content. Okay. And also, um, like, what do you talk about when you talk about it? Hey, Heather, what's up? Hey, Christine girl. I hope you're feeling okay. Um, what's up, Jessica? Uh, yes, it is cold. Alan, it's, it's cold, but you know what? The sun is out. So it's about 35, I think 40 degrees. Um, but it feels nicer. We just got back from bowling. The kids are swimming with Tim at the pool. So that's why I'm in a tank top because I'm going swimming. But, like I said, I promised to do this live and talking about um, how to how to batch your content for the month to help to simplify, you guys, simplify your business. What's up, Tanil? How are you, girl? Um, so if you know anyone that wants to simplify and organize their business and their content in um, one day a month, you need to share this uh, live with them because it's gonna it's gonna really help them. Um, leverage. And if you guys know what the word leverage means, it means that not doing more work, it means doing less work, leveraging your time. So you could go off and do more of what you want, what what you love to do, right? Um, so if you're new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie. I want you to drop me uh, new in the comments so I could personally give you a shout out and say hello. Um, also, you can visit createsuccesswithjulie.com. I have plenty of resources there as well as this is my fan page. So make sure you subscribe. I have probably 300 training videos on this page alone, um, and so please feel free to go go through it all. But basically, I specialize in helping um, home-based business entrepreneurs bring their business online, brand themselves, and build their business online to help leverage uh, your time because you guys, we're all busy. I'm a, a busy mom, a wife. I, I run several businesses, home-based businesses, and so I know without a doubt, I need to set up systems for my business, right, guys? If you are here and you want to know more about how to leverage your time, I want you to drop me an emoji, like drop me a heart emoji because that is my passion, okay? It is seriously helping people. Um, even though I do network marketing, I've been in network marketing for six years. You guys, even with my network marketing company, guess what? I um, I have some some things automated on that end. So I'm bringing in people without me necessarily having to to bring them in initially. Is that like freaking cool? So I also have automated systems set up for my network marketing business. Um, it's something I worked on for a year, so it doesn't happen necessarily overnight. Just know this. It is something I've mastered is online marketing and branding, okay? Uh, branding is a big thing. I think I could help people get more clear on their direction. I have this gift, I should say, to help people to get more clear on their 
direction, their specialty, their voice, branding their brilliance and doing it with heart and authenticity and pulling out of them that they have more inside them than they think that they do. So if you know me, you know that this is something that I thrive um, on doing is just helping. I just love helping entrepreneurs grow their business because we're all in this together. I don't I don't look at this as being just my business. My business is helping other people grow their business, okay? So today I want to talk to you about content batching because um, many of you that follow me, you guys are parents, right? And as parents, you know that everything revolves around our children and our home. And so squeezing in time, and some of you guys are already have, like, you have full-time jobs. So you're doing this part-time, Okay, I should have showed off my notifications. And um, and so I want to help you kind of free up some of that time. So one of the things I hear most from my, um, from my community is, you know, wh- where do I come up with ideas on content? And obviously we know we're in a content living world. Like this is not a secret, right? Um, Facebook is all about delivering value. That's what's going to be seen, be heard. Facebook Live is just dominates anything else. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you got to be doing some Facebook Lives. Um, And also, um, and so with my community, sorry, these notifications are big distractions. I should have shut them off. But anyways, with my community, I hear, well, like, where do you come up with stuff? Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to talk to you guys, and if you are taking notes, I, or I, I should say you should grab a pen and a piece of paper, okay? Because if you're watching this, you want to take notes. If not, you could always come back to replay. And if you're on the replay, put hashtag replay so I can give you a shout out later. So in the beginning of the month, what you do is you pick a day, okay? And let's say it's Monday, first day of the month every Monday. You pick a day, and well, before you do this, the very first thing you want to do is sit down and write out nine, typically nine to 12 categories, okay? Nine to 12 categories of things that you love, like that are your passion that you enjoy talking about. So let me give you an example. If this was me and I'm writing, I'm sitting down, I'm, t- I'm writing out nine to 12 categories. I'm, I'm doing, okay, my kids, my dog, little Lola, um, dr- <laughs> this sounds bad, but, uh, drinking champagne, jalapeno margaritas, my wine, like people know that I love a cocktail every now and then. And actually the jalapeno margarita has been like kind of branded to me. It's funny. I started talking about them, but anyways, people know I enjoy life. I travel. Okay. That's another category. Um, my family, my business. So marketing, uh, social media, branding, um, network marketing. What else do I like talking about? Um, fitness, health, nutrition, recipes, Facebook lives. You guys right there, that was 12. Okay. So what you want to do when you're trying to think of posts is creating, um, content and rotating between nine to 12 of those categories. So I might, let's say now, I actually don't like to post four or five times a day. I actually only like to post unless I'm out with my family this weekend. You're going to see more posting with us just being out and about. But let's just say I post two really powerful posts a day. I'd rather post two power posts, meaning, inter- oh, and then also interaction posts, you guys. I forgot to put that in there. So like any of your Q&A type of posts, opinion posts, asking people people for opinions, like those are high engaging posts because people love to give opinions. Um, they love the Q&A aspect. Okay, so put that into the mix. So what I do is I rotate posts. So I'll do two, maybe three posts a day with Facebook Live usually typically being three times a week. Um, so what I'm saying is if you're going to do a live that day, then do another post that day, maybe a Q&A post or opinionated post. Then the next day you're doing a post around your kids and then maybe you're doing um a, a training around one of the products with your company, but you're not saying what the product is. You're just leading them to the product. So 
Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like pick nine to 12 categories that you are passionate about and those are what you're continuously uh, circulating to give content about or to share about. So people, you start to get branded as that. So lately I've been saying, it feels so good being back at the gym. I gave up on myself for six months because business got in the way and I allowed my schedule to be controlled by business. Do you know how many people resonate with that that are into health and fitness? So that's like, this is what I'm saying. So you pick these nine to 12 categories. Now, Facebook Live, I know some people, they get very nervous, but I'm gonna tell you Facebook Live is so crucial to your business plan. So maybe you say, okay, I will commit big word there, commit to doing two Facebook lives a week. If you're new and you're nervous, just do two. What you can do is sit down in the beginning of the month and you actually plan out the content and the days you're going to talk about this. So maybe your children are in school during the day and 12 o'clock, that 12, 11, 12 o'clock hour works well for you while your kids are at school. So what you'll do is on a Monday, the beginning of the month, sit down and say, okay, I can do a Facebook Live every uh, Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Friday, right? Whatever it looks like for your schedule, sit down and plan the content. Um, put So you could use uh, an Evernote, you could use an Excel spreadsheet, you could use Google Doc. I sit down and I plan, what am I going to talk about that day? What's the resource? Where am I getting the information? Is it a blog? Is it a Google article? Is it uh, a podcast or an audio I heard? Is it a book? Is it from my notes? Is it what have you, right? Because we're always repurposing content. So please get out of your head that you could originate it to you because it's you sharing it and you're just repurposing it. Okay, so don't worry about sharing information from somebody else. You guys, everything is borrowed, okay? Um, And so I know that is one thing that holds people back. Do you feel, actually, let me stop. Do you guys, first of all, do you feel like you're being, you hold yourself back from doing Facebook Lives because you're nervous about it not being your own original content? Let me know that. If that is you, I want you to just write yes in the comment section, okay? Just let me know. Because I know that is a big thing that holds a lot of entrepreneurs back. And the thing is, like, you make it your own, right? I talk about this where um, I have several leaders on my team in my network marketing company. Okay, so we could do a training. And let's say there's four of us leaders that all trained on the same thing. Well, our team is going to hear it different how they're going to hear it differently from all four of us. Does that make sense? They're not going to pick up on the same thing because it's four different people. It's like playing telephone. Okay. Um, and so I don't know if you guys are still with me cause I'm not seeing any comments. I'm not seeing any hearts. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, but if that makes sense, let me know, just say yes in the comments. Um, I have really spotty Wi-Fi, so I hope you guys are still here. All right. So, they're going to hear it different from each person. So you, you take it and you kind of make it your own. All right. So back to scheduling out your content. That's what I do. So literally I will write the title. I will resource where I'm going to get the information from. I will schedule it out. So you do this in one day for the entire month. You guys understand this is content batching. So let's say on Monday you sit down and you go, okay, so on Wednesday I'm going to do a recipe I'm going to do a recipe Facebook Live. Okay, and then on Friday, I'm going to talk about one thing around uh, a benefit about my product, and then I could just lead the call to action to them reaching out to me if they want to learn more about the product. Or maybe you pull a magazine article, and you take and you repurpose it, and you pull out some of their nuggets, and then you input yours, which then, again, leads to your product. Um, and I gave this as an example. So there was a shape magazine article. It talked about cellulite for women and how to reduce cellulite. And it was seven steps to kicking cellulite's ass. And so, Oh, sorry guys. I hope your kids aren't around. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, kicking cellulite's butt. And I took, um, I took four of the seven ways I repurposed it 
And then I put a fifth in there that led to my product in my last company, which was a cleanse. So you guys see what I'm saying? Like I took the article, I repurposed it, and then I added in my product. And then I said, if you want to know more about number five, step number five, reach out to me. You could, if you're in health and wellness and you have protein, you can make protein balls, right? And you could just say, hey, if you want to know more about the protein I use that has X, Y, and Z benefits, reach out to me, put info and I'll make sure to give you the, not only I'll send you a recipe through messenger, but I'll um, also give you the information of the protein that I use. Okay. So just get a little creative with it. Maybe then the next week has nothing to do about your product and you just want to talk about inspiration, something to inspire your audience. Um, If you inspire your audience, if you give them great value um, and if you're genuine and you're not always out to make a sale, don't ever be out just to make a sale, please. Um, Just really genuinely connect with them and start building relationships with them. You guys, it is automatically going to lead somewhere. I promise you, because now they're connected to you. They found value. So they're going to be more apt to share your information. Does that make sense? I want to understand you guys, does this make sense? People are always like, well, how do I convert them into a sale? Don't think about it. I don't think about it. Honestly, people are attracted to me and want to join me in my network marketing business because they want to join me, not because I'm talking about, um, you know, branding. I mean, it could be, but I'm just, it's just me that they want to join. I'm not talking about my product. I'm not talking about my company. I'm talking about whatever it is, inspiring them, giving them good information and giving them value. So they're like, dang, you know, she knows what she's talking about. I actually want to partner with her and she's fun. So they get my personality too. So have fun with your Facebook lives. You guys don't treat it like this. Um, like it's gotta be perfection. Obviously you saw the beginning of this Facebook live. I was, I'm, you know, half, half time. I'm like a hot mess guys. I really am. And yet people are like, Oh, you seem like you have it so together. And I'm like, when, Anyways, so you want to just be, um, you want to just be natural with it. You just want to have fun with it. You guys, things go wrong. Don't freak out about doing Facebook lives at all. Um, I think you just answered my previous comment, Heather. Let me see what that says. What's your previous comment, Heather? Um, let me go up, Heather. Um, I got over my fear and did two this week. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Heather. That's awesome. I had some great engagement too. just trying to connect the dots on how it will help my business grow. Okay. So you know how it helps your business grow by just doing it and like keep doing it and keep building the relationships and keep connecting with people. And when they respond, um, reply and say, okay, great. Thank you so much for tuning in. What specifically did you find the most value in with my life? So that's the algorithm hack. Okay. Algorithm hacks. You want to talk about that? I talked, I did a Facebook live last week about it and I had, uh, several, I think I gave you guys for algorithm hacks, but here's one. Um, You have to engage with your audience. So you want to reply and don't just reply like, thank you, Heather. Reply with a question and keep it going. And guess what? Then if they say that they want more information, you go into their messenger um, and you guys are now private messaging you show up in their feed more often and they show up in your feed more often. This is why I do all of my business through Facebook Messenger, you guys. I build my entire network marketing team through Facebook Messenger and only Facebook Messenger. Even my customer base is all through Facebook Messenger, period, period. I don't take it offline at all, at all. I think maybe one time and I have a team of a thousand people, okay? Um, just business builders on, on my team. So think about that. It's all through Messenger. So we're in each other's feeds like crazy. I'm like, that algorithm's on fire for me. So you want to be using Messenger as much as you can. That's why I always lead it to, hey, message me. If you have a question, message me or comment below and I'll send you the information so I can get inside their Messenger. Does that make sense, Heather? Is that cool? Okay. Um, Where was I at? So content batching. Basically... Two power posts a day, if you can. Do some engagement posts, Q&A posts, opinionated posts. Um, People love seeing stuff about the kids, right? Um, If you're going to do a text post, grab a really cool picture. I have some really awesome apps I use. Um, One's called Ripple, R-I-P-L. One's called Werble, W-E-R-B-L-E. 
uh, Pixel, I think it's called, P-I-X-L. What's the other one I use? Oh, Lumiere, L-U-M-Y-E-R. That's another really cool app. Um, I, um, I use that like a lot. So, but there's just, there's so many cool apps that, because what it is, is you want to not just put a picture, but like a really cool picture out there, like bright colors, um, have some animation to it. And that's what I use some of those apps for that, um, have been working really well for engagement posts. Um, and then also the emojis, right? You guys all know that we use emojis. It's just, it's another thing that kind of, um, is eye catching in the feed, but you guys are going to constantly tra- change the algorithm and we just kind of have to keep up with it. So as I learn more, I will continue to then share with all of you. Um, but yeah, the content batching. So there you have it. If you are struggling to figure out your content for the month for your Facebook lives, I highly recommend you doing that. Even if you're doing lives five times a week, take one hour in the beginning of the month, two hours, whatever it is, sit down and write it out. So you're not scrambling. Um, unfortunately, it's not like a video. If you were creating um, just videos and not Facebook lives, then you can actually take a full day and create your videos for the month. Unfortunately, we can't do that with Facebook Live. However, you can plan for the Facebook Live. So we're not taking an hour or two that morning going, oh my gosh, what am I going to talk about today in my Facebook Live? Where's my call to action? Where am I leading them to? I have to write down my bullet points. No, do this in the beginning of the month and have it set up for the entire month. Use Evernote, use Excel. I use a Google Doc, whatever it is that you want to use. Resource where you found the resource from so you could go back to it the day of. Um, or just create your notes on that one day. Sound cool? You guys, did this help? Let me know if you found value. And if you did, what did you find value in the most? Because again, I'm all about just leveraging. And this one simple thing of figuring out the nine to 12 categories of what you're passionate about and like what, like Heather. So I'll take you. So Heather, so what does Heather stand for? Okay. What, what does Heather like to talk about? Oh, inspiration. That's another thing. I love talking about mindset especially for entrepreneurs, because there's so much inner work that we have to do to get us to where we want to go. Now I've done so much inner work and so much personal development, you guys, and I've done it with some amazing people. I've, I've actually been to conferences with people like John Maxwell and Robin Sharma and Lisa Nichols and Eric Worre. Um, he did a couple leadership conferences for a small group of us. And you guys, I've done so much personal development that now I feel unstoppable. I feel unstoppable. And that's what I want to help other entrepreneurs to feel like, like just bold and fierce and unstoppable and stop with all the noise and the chit chatter that's going on in your head. So that's another thing that I love to do is inspire my audience and to help them um, silence that inner critic because it sucks. It really sucks. And it's such a lie. And, um, that's another category for me. So I think I might be up to 14, right? It's funny. Like when you sit and you just be quiet within yourself and you just start journaling and and jotting this stuff down, you're like, Oh my gosh, there's so much. I had somebody say, well, I'm just a mom. Okay. But you're not just a mom. Like there's other things that you desire for. There's other things that I'm sure you possess that you can teach others to do. And of course, then she was like, yes, yes, I can. I actually like to inspire. I like to talk about the law of attraction. I like to talk about this. And I'm like, see, there you go. You just need to sit down and think about it. Because as moms, I get it sometimes. Our entire world revolves around our kids. And I'm not discrediting dads in any way. As parents, I should say, our world is revolved around our children. So sometimes we feel like... um, our words can be lost, okay, because we're so just in the game of being a parent, okay, Um, so anyways, I hope that helps, thank you so much for hanging with me this afternoon, if you found value, obviously share, like, comment, if you have questions, just let me know, and about the content batching, but you know what, try it out, I think you, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll find it very, very useful and just commit to it. Commit to two hours in the beginning of every month to, to lay it out, lay out the whole month so that you don't have to worry about it. It's super cool when you do that. I promise you, you'll feel like you can breathe and more organized. Okay. 
Um, awesome. Thanks, Christine. I appreciate it. Thank you, Monica. That's how I want to feel unstoppable. Monica, you can, you absolutely can. Um, and you guys, I, I just talked about this the other day real quick before we hop off. Um, I'm starting a members community and that's everything we're going to be talking about inside this members community. Um, the fierce fempreneur. And it's basically how to pull out like the bad, you know, ASS inside of you, you know, bring it out. And it's going to be all things, um, mindset, branding, social media marketing. It's going to be a lot of the mindset piece as well as the tactics, if that makes sense. And so I sat down and I figured I have a big following and I'm like, you know what, how can I serve more people at a price point that I know that they, um, that, that they can gain access to more of me. I mean, this is what people have been asking me, right? Some people I understand can't afford the one-on-one private coaching. So the solution of what I came up with was a members community, uh, for female entrepreneurs. Um, no offense, dudes, I'm sorry, but my, um, my jam and what I feel most comfortable with is helping other female entrepreneurs find their voice because I know I can do it. Um, I know how they speak. And so if you guys want that, um, to be on the waiting list, there is a waiting list. If you want to be on the waiting list, just type, uh, what is it? Just type, um, link in the comment section. Let me know and I'll send you the link to get on the waiting list. Okay. All right. So you guys be blessed. Thanks for hanging with me and I'll see you on the next training. Bye.